Grade 5, welcome to Science 5, Quarter 2, Module 8. Interaction among living things and non-living things in estuaries and intertidal zones. Grade 5, you're with Teacher MJ. Alternative Delivery Mode, Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines. What this module is about This module discusses about the interaction among living and non-living things in intertidal zone and estuary ecosystem. When organisms of the same kind live together, they form a group called population. A population interacts with other populations to form a community. The community interacts with the air, water, soil, sunlight, and other non-living things in its surrounding to form an ecosystem. An ecosystem is the relationship between biotic, which is living factors, and abiotic, non-living thing factors in a certain place. In this module, you will learn about two specific ecosystems, the intertidal zones and the estuaries. Let's find out the components of estuaries, their importance, and how can you protect them. What I need to know Discuss the interaction among the living things and non-living things in estuaries and intertidal zone. Estuaries, where the river meets the sea. Estuaries are areas where the river meets the sea. Two major forces that are interact are the tides and the river. Under the surface, fresh water and salt water meet. This creates circulation between the two sources. Not all stories are made the same. Things like tidal mixing, wind, and stability affects how the story looks. Some are protected bays allowing people to use stories for a mix of activities. Stuaries are teeming with life, some that can live in fresh water and salt water. White sturgeon like stuaries for the amount of food they can find in the sediment. For example, coho fry and par use stuaries for transition as they traveled out to the sea. Salmon travel back through stories in order to spawn in their home rivers. Many different plants can live in stories from terrestrial to marine. Trees and ferns to pickleweed and sand sparry to seaweed and sea grasses. Remember, stories are very important ecosystem. We need to protect them for a generation to come. The coastal area or transitional zone where fresh water from the rivers and streams mixes with the salt water from the oceans is called an estuary. They are sometimes called bay, lagoons or harbors. The water in this region is called brackish water. This is because the salt water from the sea enters this region by the action of the tide. But it is diluted by the fresh water coming from the streams and rivers. So the water here is neither completely salty nor fresh. 
Estuaries are home to a variety of organisms like fishes, shellfishes, lobsters, crabs, a wide variety of seabirds, goose, marine worms and many different reptiles. Sometimes these estuaries are full of dead decaying organisms. They are marshy and the soil is nutrient rich. Estuaries are often called nurseries of the ocean. Can you think why is it so? This is because many fishes lay eggs in the estuaries and the abundant plant protects these eggs, thus nurturing new lives. Using the table below, describe and discuss how the biotic factors affect the inner tidal zone and stories. Fill in the blank with correct answer. Choose the correct answer from the word poll below. 1. Salt marshes are areas in estuaries that are filled with seawater during blank and are drained during blank. Number 2. Mud flats are areas in estuaries where blank is deposited from the seas or river. Number 3. Mango forests are areas in stories that are with black. Four. Blank are areas in stories where solid rocks are found. Number 5. Salt marshes are marshy because of the presence of blank. Number 6. The living factors in Suarez consist of all the blank, animals and blank that are found in them. Seven, mango trees have adapted to blank and play a significant role in the environment. Number eight, refers to the changing levels of waters in the coastal areas. Number nine, Blank refers to the abundance of different living organisms living in an area. N. Some animals found in blank are starfish, mollusks, shrimps, hermit crabs, and prawns. Number 10. 